we all can agree as a group this was one of the, our best, cleanest, most complete games we've had in a while. So I'm really, really proud of this team and their energy is infectious. They root for each other. It was just really a fun game to watch, be a part of. First off, just before we get lost in all of uh, the offense, Nicole, Kirsten, no hit it was well, what have you continued to see from them that to not get complacent to continue to give you performances like this? I think they're hungry. I mean, they're waiting for their time. If you're you're on this pitching staff, you you're probably throwing one game a weekend. And that's new to them and they want more. So they're waiting and they're prepared and it, that, that whole iron sharpens irons, what this pitching staff is about, just constantly in tune, ahead of the count, um, just very, very businesslike. And for this staff to hold teams, I don't know how many of you guys know this, how many shutouts we've had in the Big 12 is just unreal, unreal. And just a testament to their work ethic and their togetherness as a pitching staff. You talked yesterday about uh, how you thought the offense was taking more of a defensive approach. Today they went out, put up eight runs in the first. Just how critical was that and how much did you stress that? I think we talked some on it, but they know, they know. They're, they're in battles. They, they're a team, they're together, they care for each other, but they're still in battles with each other to get into the game. So they really want to make the most out of their at-bats. I felt that today. You put eight on somebody in the first inning, it's quite demoralizing, and, and they went after it hard. They really wanted to keep passing the bat and set the tone early and then just kind of keep hitting up the scoreboard along, along the way. So I was really excited to see that, and it went throughout the lineup. Everybody had something to do with finding ways to score runs. Sydney Sanders was batting third. I think it was the first time she'd uh, been there in the lineup since uh, the first game of the season. What, obviously she's been playing really well right now, but what kind of made you want to do that and how do you think she played? I'm, I'm excited that she's peaking right now. She's, I don't think she's even really peaked, but she's trending upward without question. <laughs> Her at-bats are solid, whether they are hard-hit balls for outs or balls that hit off the wall or balls that go over the fence or screaming ground balls. I mean, she's hitting the ball. She's barreling things up. She looks confident. She acts confident. Everything looks completely different, and she's in a good position right now this time of the season to be at her best. And, Patty, it seems like we talk about this every game lately, too, but the defense today. Especially the left side of the infield. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's becoming routine, and nothing about what they're doing is routine. I, I think these are hard plays for Major League Baseball players or anybody else who's an elite infielder. A, Brito's play was just off the charts, and Grace. You're watching it, and you're like, no way. She can't. No way. She's going to beat it. This, this runner's going to beat it. And she just gets it there every time. So I, this defense, I mean, I'm in the game, but sometimes I wish I was watching it from the stands because I think I see it in a different way than when I see it sitting in the, in the dugout. But it is pretty amazing. And this defense is something that I absolutely love. And to see these guys play at this level is just quite an honor. And Nicole, what does that do for you out there uh, in the circle when you see uh, you know, the, those, those teammates making plays like that? Yeah, so I'm kind of different than Coach. You know, she's over here thinking if she's going to beat it, I'm over here thinking that it's, she's already out. Like, I'm like, <laughs> okay, awesome, next out. Like, it's kind of just I would be more surprised if she was safe. If that makes sense. Uh, wait, so there's so a lot wait of until you start coaching. <laughs> watch how this changes your There's mind. a lot of trust in my defense, so that <laughs> makes things easier. But yeah, we have a great defense. And also, what was what was that moment like for you in the the fifth when you come out and the the chants start and just build up? 
it's your name. <laughs> hmm? The the moment in the fifth when the fans started chanting for you to come uh, do the curtain call. Oh. I don't know, just wave. <laughs> no. It's just what our fans do, so it's yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about moments, Grace. For you, what was the emotions when you saw the ball kind of clear the fence and you're coming home? Yeah, well, first, I almost uh, lapped Sophia. <laughs> um, I was going a little too hard, but I was running it out. If it didn't go over, I was going to be going. So, um, yeah, I was, I was very excited. My family's here, and they haven't been able to come a lot uh, this year. Um, and so for them to see that was really big. And then also my team absolutely just – went insane and so that's so cool and that's what I think makes this team so special is everyone is cheering for everybody and like she said we're still competing day in and day out and um, we have people who get uh, taken out and someone gets put in their position and they're still cheering for that person and uh, I think that's so awesome and that really uh, after I thought about okay my family's here this is awesome and then just seeing my team's reaction was amazing and it just felt I don't know it just felt awesome to know that everyone's got each other's back. Do you see how quick? I think that's about as fast as the team has poured out of the dugout <laughs> for any home run this year. I don't know if you were focused on it. I think they had to because I was running too fast <laughs> around the bases. <laughs> <laughs> and for Patty, just to, for Grace to be able to step, you've talked about this a ton, but it's not just giving players late innings, but they're able to come in and produce. But on senior weekend, what is that like for you when you've got long time members of this program that can come in and, and deliver that for you yeah i think you just want it for her you know Underappreciated, but the glue of this team, and I know it, but I don't know that a lot of other people know it. So I trust her. Um, she's the most team oriented player I've ever had, and I appreciate that she's stuck with this program. And I don't know, for me, watching her do it was almost like being her mom as well so you just gotta hold it in be excited for her but now that i'm sitting next to her it's just <laughs> blowing up and that's it gosh turn this <laughs> <off>. <laughs> right. good night. okay for more information you can visit tulsaworld.com